give you all the glory. We honor and praise your name. We worship you. We adore you for everything you are doing in our lives as leaders. Thank you for this Sunday prayer. Thank you for our service today, revealing to us our superiority, our high and superior priesthood over Aaron and the priesthood in the Old Testament. Thank you for what Calvary has purchased for us. Thank you for what you did for us on the course of Calvary. We thank you for the great work. We thank you for the great intervention. We thank you for what Calvary has purchased for us. We are grateful unto you. Hallowed be thy name. Praises, honor, adoration be forever ascribed to you. Lord, even tonight, as we have come, hear us from heaven and intervene greatly and mightily in our lives. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. 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 So at this time, I want to begin to give thanks to God and to worship Him. I want to begin to thank Him. Who is like on today? Who is like on today? Who is like unto thee, O Lord? In the morning you are good, in the evening you are kind. Who is like unto thee, O Lord? Who is like unto thee? Who is like unto thee? Who is like unto thee, O Lord? In the morning you are good, in the evening you are kind. Who is like unto thee, O Lord? I love that man of Galilee for he has done so very much for me he has forgiven me all my sins and the Holy Ghost to me I love that man oh Galilee Na la na ai na re ke le o na re ke le mo wo shala wenda unto Jehovah. For he has done so very much for me. What shall I render unto Jehovah? For he has done so very much for me. Oh, now I Na re ke le na re ke le mo. Let's open our mouth and give thanks to God. Let's worship the name of the Lord. Let's glorify Him. Let's adore Him. Let's reverence Him. Let's adore Him for whom He is. Let's say, Father, we are grateful unto You. Jesus, we honor your name. Holy Ghost, we adore you. Father, we adore you. We lift up before you. Our adore you. Jesus. Um, 
Ramba. You want to give Father the praise, want to give Father the honor, want to give Father the adoration, want to glorify His holy name. Can you all hear me? Can you all hear me? Let's honor the Lord. Let's worship the Lord. Let's praise the Lord. Let's adore the Lord. Let's magnify His holy name. Give him thanks, give him praise, give him honor, give him adoration. He has done us well. He has done us well. Hallelujah. He has done us well. Hallelujah. He has done us well. Hallelujah. 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 In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. What's happening? Can you people hear me? In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay. At this time, I want to go before the Lord tonight. I want to ask the Lord to hear us even this time we are spending in the place of prayer that nothing will stand as a barrier to our prayer. The Lord will hear us, the Lord will stand by all. The Lord will hear us and he will intervene. The Lord will hear us and take absolute control. The Lord will hear us and move in our midst and our family. Shall we pray? You are Yahweh, Alpha, Omega. You are Yahweh, Alpha, Omega. You are Yahweh, you are Yahweh. Hey. You are Yahweh, oh Lord, you are Yahweh. You are Yahweh, you are Yahweh, Alpha, Omega. You are Yahweh, Alpha. Omega, I want to go before the Lord tonight and say, Father, anything that will stand as a barrier to our prayer, let the Lord yank off tonight in Jesus' name. Take away barrier. God hates iniquity. God hates sin. God hates unrighteousness. God hates compromise. Father, anything in our lives, anything in our lives, anything in our lives, oh God, in anyone that we stand to our prayer, hinder our prayer, oh Jesus, take you, cleanse us, forge us, purify us, purify, Lord, purify, until my heart pure than good, purify, Lord. Purify, Lord, till my heart, your heart and good. Purify, Lord, purify, until my heart, your heart and good. Purify, Lord, purify, until my heart. Your heart and go. Yes, the Lord is hearing. Yes, the Lord is hearing. Purifying our heart, cleansing our heart. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Tonight, we'll be lifting up the hands of our Moses and other lieutenants uh, to God in prayer. We have the Moses of the platform. 
and then we shall be praying for all our Moses, all our leaders on the platform, and then particularly we shall pray. Uh, the way I'm going to lead tonight specifically is that we will pray uh, for the next 15 minutes. We shall be praying for Pastor Matthew for the next 15 minutes. And then we will pray for all our various pastors who have peculiar challenges, who have one or two challenges, who have something they are going through. But the way I'm going to lead that of Pastor Matthew, I would like to read scripture uh, on that. I want to read from the scripture of truth. I want to read from God's holy word. What does God ask for us in his word? In 1 John chapter 3, in 1 John chapter 3, what told in his word there, in verse 22, whatsoever we ask, we receive of him, because we keep his commandments, and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. He said, whatsoever we ask, we receive, amen? Whatsoever we ask, we receive. Whatsoever we ask, we receive. And so, whatever we ask tonight, we shall receive. God's servant shall receive. God's servant will enjoy it. Whatever we ask God in the place of prayer, consigning the servant of God, the Lord will hear. And so, as we begin tonight, we'll be, I'll be touching different departments of the life of God's servant. But we shall begin with the O. We want to pray that the Almighty God, Almighty God, all, Almighty God, He has said, whatsoever we ask, we receive. We pray, O oh Lord, that Lord, 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 come take your place. Come take your place. In the old, God take your place. Let the Holy Ghost hijack the old. Let God hijack the old. Let God continue to hijack the old. In the name of Jesus, let all infiltration be cleared off. Are you praying? All infiltration. You understand that prayer? Do you understand that? All infiltrations. All infiltrations. I can't hear anyone praying. All infiltrations. All infiltrations. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every form of infiltration. To cause God's servant pain. Infiltration from the pit of hell. Let's lift his hand up. Let's stand in the gap. Father, clear of infiltrations. Demonic infiltrations. Witchcraft infiltrations. Manipulation from the pit of hell. Covenant from the pit of air, we cancel. God's servant will enjoy his life. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I read 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 14. 
I just read First Peter three twenty two. Now I'm reading First Peter fourteen uh, five fourteen. Look at it, and this is the confidence that we have in Him. That if we ask anything according to His will, He heareth us. Amen. He said, if we ask anything, if it's not according to His will, no Allah, He will not hear us. But provided what we are asking is according to the will of God, God will hear us. We are going to pray. Whatever power that want to, ah, uh, whatever power at vow, power at vow in any way, power at plan and projected against the life of God's servant, that he will not enjoy his life to the fullest. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, today, today, God paralyze those power. The Bible say in 1 Samuel 2, then, the adversaries of the Lord shall be broken in pieces. Yes, out of heaven, the Lord shall thunder against them. Let the Lord thunder against them. Shall we pray? Are there people here except, uh, except at home? I can't hear anybody. I can't even hear you. Is it the only one hearing me? Okay. I believe others should hear me if, if I can miss you. Let's be praying. Okay. Let's be praying. The Lord shall disgrace those power. The power that I vow to disgrace him shall be disgraced. He that did get a peace shall fall into it. That's what the Bible says. Whatever pit that is dug for pastor, whoever is responsible, digging that peace shall fall into that pit. Yes, I will give men for thy life. That's what the scripture says. When the enemy shall come like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against them. If they come in the dream, they will be defeated. If they visit pastor in the dream, the Lord will defeat them. If they come in the day, they will be defeated. If they come to the air, God will defeat them. If they come to the water, God will defeat them. If they come to driving and they want to cause accident, God will defeat them. Anyway, anyway, they will be defeated and disappointed and embarrassed by God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shall we pray? In the name of Jesus, they will be disgraced. They will be subdued. They will be nullified. They will be broken and sunder. Every power from the pit of hell, mangrove power, demonic power, agent of darkness. In the name of Jesus, you will disgrace them, O oh God. You will disgrace them, O oh God. You will disgrace them, O oh God. By your spirit, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. The Lord has answered in Jesus' name. I want to go to the ministry. Yes. The Bible says in Luke chapter 12, 32, Pastor Matthew, here is a scripture for you. Fear not, little flock, for it's in the Father's pleasure to give you the kingdom. God will give you the kingdom of charity. God will give you the ultimate kingdom at last. In the name of Jesus. Let's pray for the number one. The kingdom of charity will be given to you. It is your father's pleasure to give you the kingdom of charity and its environment. That the souls that are daring, the Holy Ghost will arrest them. God will lift your hands up in ministry as declared by God's servant upon you. God will lift your hands up in ministry. God will send Epaphras to you. God will send Epaphroditus to you. God will send Epaphras, the prayer warrior. God will send partners, partners who are willing and ready to serve God, who are willing to pursue God vehemently. The Lord will send partners to you. The Lord will send partners. The Lord will send laborers, go laborers in Christ, in the name of Jesus. Are we praying?
Yes. In the Lord Jesus, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Spirit of God, I ask, oh God, you will send laborer, you will send worker, you will send, oh God, committed and devoted men, oh God, to charity. The land of charity will be conquered, conquered by your servant. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says, wherever all the soul of our foot shall tread upon, shall be given to us in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, want to go to the Lord in prayer quickly. Want to ask the Lord in the name of Jesus. Want to pray. We have prayed on the ministry aspect. We want to ask the Lord every power contending against the work that God has given to our pastor, Pastor Matthew. In the name of Jesus, the Bible say that a virtual door that been opened. Do you know that Pastor Matthew has been reaching out to various distinct of the world? And that's a effectual door. The YouTube is there for showing the 100,000. And just like that, we want to pray in the name of Jesus as a virtual door has been opened. All those adversaries God will bury and destroy and shatter. Adversary of the gospel, adversary of the work God has committed into his hand, whether they are household enemy, whether they are insiders or outsider anywhere they are, God will expose them in the name of Jesus. Pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You see, you see, uh, it is good you pray for leaders. It is good you pray for leaders. Many people, what they just do is that they gossip their pastor, gossip their leaders. They will not pray. They will not do any spiritual exercise, but they can talk. And that reminds me of a story very quickly. I would tell us uh, that was uh, that was uh, narrated by uh, a man of God, a very powerful man of God. Uh, the founder is it founder? It's not the founder, okay? That's the Chidi Okara for Reverend Chidi Okara for that's number one man in Assemblies of God in Nigeria. Yeah, he was talking about a story. I was listening to it some years ago. And he was talking about a particular church. Things were just cold and mechanical and just dry like that, like that. And there's about uh, how many brothers, whether three or four of them, either two or three or four of them, they went into the church room, whether it's a church or one of the rooms in the church, they locked themselves off for like days, some days. I don't know whether it was four days, but for some days, I think about four days or more. And then they locked, they began to pray for the church. They were praying for the church. They were praying for their pastor. They were praying for the church all of a sudden. After they finished prayer, they came out of that place. And they, they knew God as answer. They knew God had prayed. The new revival was coming already. They have dealt, you know, in the place of prayer with the environment and everything. And eventually they came out. And when they came out, I think they got extra chairs and all of that. Then they had a program. Or is it a program or maybe normal service? Let me know how to you. Maybe it's normal service or a program. And uh, they didn't invite uh, maybe guest minister. It was their pastor, the same pastor. According to Chidi Okara for the Reverend, he said the same pastor, the same pulpit and all of that. And then just like that, by the time the pastor got to the pulpit, because some men have secretly wired the pastor in the place of prayer. And then, the power of God, the man, the Chidi Okafo was saying, have you seen where the power of God carries somebody and throw through the window, and throw away through the window or whatever? He said, I have seen. What, what did God do in that meeting? The power of God began to, it was, it was something else. And the, the people around, they were wondering, that, ah, what is this pastor doing? And all of that. So they were not knowing that it was an avenue for God to increase that church and, uh, you know, announce that church and all of that. 
and that was the power of uh, people that came to watch to look and all of that the power was so much was so much because some men pray it was not it wasn't not the same thing in the life of dl modi two women miracle will be taking place and there were just two women who were praying praying for dl modi until they die and things were not going the way they should go again until he has to pray and god revealed and then he knew that he was not the one even responsible for the miracles it was those women that were praying for him that's what intercessory prayer can do in the life of people what do we find in the church today gossip what even among leadership unfortunately gossip talk 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 gossip talk talk no prayer we want to pray and say father the church at charlotte will grow in the name of jesus every power contending against that church the god of heaven will bury those power god will bury those power all the territorial power in charlotte kingdom in charlotte area territorial demons and agent of darkness tonight god will change and bind them shall we pray Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask, Lord, that all the demonic agents and personality, all the adversaries, oh God, in charity exist, in the name of Jesus, you will chain them, you will bind them, in the name of Jesus, and unfold. They will become inactive, they will become incapable. By your spirit, oh God, any power that is saying no to the ministry, any power that is saying no to the advancement, any power that they say no to the progress, O oh Lord of Charlotte Church, we say in the name of Jesus, be exposed by fire. We say in the name of Jesus, be subdued and consumed and conquered by the Spirit of God and by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, Father, we ask, O oh God, that you will move so unnaturally. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. The Lord has answered in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We want to pray for all our pastors. All our pastors. We want to ask the Lord now at this time, all our pastors who are going through some financial challenges, let's start with that. In the name of Jesus Christ. Okay, let's start with their ministry. Let's start with their family. If it's a family problem, family challenge, let the Lord solve as many pastors that are having family, as many pastors who are having issues with their children, want to pray in the name of Jesus, let God come to their rescue. Let God come to intervention. Let God intervene in their situation. As many of our pastors anywhere, oh God, whether they're on the platform or not, let God show mercy and let God heal and let God deliver and let God rescue and let God take away all the things that ought not to be in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, do it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are going to pray. As many of our pastors that are having ministerial challenges, they preach and yet no impact on the people, or they preach and the life of the people are remaining the same, or there's ministerial challenge, or there's one thing or the other that they tend not to understand in the ministry, and they are being confused totally and being totally derailed. We want to pray, Father, come to the rescue of your servant. No servant of yours will be confused about the ministry you have given him or ah, My God, there will be clarity. There is nothing as wonderful and beautiful as clarity. There is nothing as wonderful as knowing where God has called you and where God is leading you. We want to pray all our pastors and leaders. We find clarity. We find direction. None of us will be clueless. None of us will blind pastor, blind leaders, blind men of God. My God and my Father, let there be direction. Holy Ghost direction. In the name of Jesus, let there be direction. By your Spirit, O oh God, let there be direction. Do it, O oh God. Do it, my Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We want to pray, we are still going to pray, we are going to ask the Lord 
we are going to call upon the name of the Lord concerning all our pastors and leaders. That's when we are having financial challenges. We want to pray that God will literally intervene. We want to pray that God will literally open doors. We want to pray that God will literally wipe this, the secret tears away. I told us on this platform before, if a man, whether he's a pastor or not, does not have a job and cannot take care of his family, that man is never a happy man. I'm telling you, except something is wrong with that man. Any man you see, even an unbeliever, if they are not able to take care of their family, they are usually very sad. They are usually very unhappy. Man is no for work. Man is no with his work. And if the man is jobless and he does not have anything doing, it, it can be very painful. It can affect every other aspect of that man. We want to pray and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, change the status quo. Change the situation. Change the situation for our brethren. As many who are jobless, give them job. Good job, good job. Not 25,000 naira in a moon. Not 30,000 naira in a moon. Not even 35,000, not even 50,000. All of those money, what can somebody do with all those money in this kind of economy? We want to pray God will establish all our pastors. God will establish them all. God will establish them all in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the Lord supernaturally provide. Let the Lord extraordinarily provide. Let the Lord open doors for everyone in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are going to pray. We are still going to pray. I, have you realized that once even the financial aspect is not in order, even preaching, and you find a whole lot of things will not even go well. And then you see the woman begins to grumble if it's not highly spiritual as such. And then before you know it, it be, she begins to say some mum, mum, something, saying something, saying something. And then before you know it, the, the man himself is, is feeling uneasiness. And he will not know before he will begin to say something to the wife out of anger, out of frustration. And then before you know it, little by little, the devil can get into that hope because of poverty. You know, there's some people think once you are poor, you can remain a Christian. The devil can even capture a man because of lack. And the devil can tempt the man and the man will fall. This is why Solomon has to pray. He pray never to be in that state of abject poverty whereby he will cause God in his heart and begin to question God. And then he's also praying, he should not get to a point whereby he forgets God. We also don't want to get to a point where we begin to cause God in our heart. And we are wondering why all this suffering and pain and agony, is there no bam in Gilead? We want to pray, there is a bam in Gilead. Let God open the floodgate of heaven for our pastor. Our pastor cannot be struggling financially. Our pastor cannot be struggling to feed their family. No, they are servants of God. Jesus became poor so that we might be rich. Let's pray that God will give them endowment. God will endow them. God will give them skill. You know, money hide in skill. Money hide in opportunity. Money hide in problem. Money hide in ideas. Money hide in ideas. And Lord God, the skill, the idea that we give money and generate money. Oh, God, give to our pastor. In the name of Jesus Christ, let things change. Let situation turn around. Let the narrative change in our life. In the name of Jesus Christ, our leaders we have enough, our pastor we have enough, they will have enough to give others, they will have enough to spare, they will have enough to distribute. None will be beggars, none will be lacking here and there, none will be beggar. They will not make a recapture of our pastors, our leader. God will open windows of heaven and supernaturally supply. Do it, oh God. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name, we are prayed. Amen. Amen. If, amen. The children of all our pastors, yes, their children will succeed. Their children will succeed. Their children will succeed. None of our pastors, we have vagabond as children. None of our pastors, we have Aristo ladies, Aristo girls as their children. None of our pastors, we have children that we give them edict. None of our pastors that will have children that will raise their high blood pressure. None of our pastors will have children that will become children of Belia. My God, my daughter will not be a child of Belia. God forbid. It will not be on record that will affair me. Ah, that's why coming from a Christian home, she ended up being a daughter of Belia, a daughter of Babylon. God forbid. 
I pray, oh God, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, she will be a beacon of light, a beacon of hope. I decree over the life of my daughter, fair on me, you will be a beacon of hope. You will be a beacon of light. You will, you, you will be a shining light in the name of Jesus. The things of this life, the glittering thing, the glamorizing thing, and the glamour of this world, and the things that are, you know, you know, attracting the young people, pulling them from the way of God, will not pull you out of the way. You will serve God at your early day. Salvation will hit you very early in life. Your life will be preserved from corruption and decadence in the name of <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Put them in the name of Jesus. I bring my children up to you, my deep wonder. I put them in the name of Jesus. You will protect my son. You will watch over my son. You will watch over my daughter. By the Spirit of God, they will all be preserved. All the children that that will be given to me, I make a decree. I make a decree. They will follow the way of the God. They will follow the way of the cross. They will follow the way of the cross. They will follow the way of holiness. They will live for you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. 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 We want to pray for our wives. We want to ask our wives to cooperate with us. In the name of Jesus, I want to pray a prayer. Satan will not speak to our wife, thereby deceiving us. Satan will not enter our wife like he entered Judas Iscariot. Oh God, as many wives that Satan has entered among our pastors and members in the name of Jesus, deliver such a one. Oh God, deliver such a one. Oh God, deliver such a one. Oh God, deliver such a one. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Just remember something now. I just remember. I just remember. There's a movie I, I saw. You know, I keep telling us about movie. It's not just to watch movie. It's to pick sundry lessons from movie. You know, it, they give you a night. You know how Satan, how that man, the man was trying to capture this particular sister on campus. He could not get that sister. And then, even when the sister now, had not left the campus, the man himself had left the campus, a dubious man. Now, the, the woman now married to a Christian man. And then she's living a Christian life, having children and all. And yet, this same man who had been pursuing this woman <clears throat> will not turn back. And then went ahead to make a boast and even do diabolical power to still come to this woman even after he had married. The devil is a bad devil, bastard, a vagabond, a non-entity. You can imagine that. And then this man was even making boast before his friend, making boast. And then that he will get this sister, all these church sisters, they are easy to get, blah, blah, blah. He was just saying it. And little by little, he was able to penetrate into the emotion of our this our our so-called sister in the movie. Enter. Thank God they did not go far into the intimacy. He would have wasted that. And the woman was already drifting away. His our love for the husband was already drifting away. They were not even staying in the same room anymore, sleeping in separate room like that, because the other man had captured the emotion of this man. That's how some of these people are. Their emotions are captured, and then they begin to pick offenses from their husband, or it could be the man. They begin to pick unnecessary offense, our offense from the wife. You know the devil is already raging in that hole. We are going to pray. In the name of Jesus, let the Lord deliver our wife. Let the Lord deliver our men. As men who have been captured by Satan, their emotions have been captured, their hearts have been captured. Hey! The power and the blood of Jesus Christ for all the family that is going to this why the emotion they have been captured. But I will pray by the power and the blood. You are going to deliver them in the name of Jesus Christ. King of King, you are going to deliver them in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, 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 you are going to deliver them in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power in the blood, Lord, you are going to deliver them. Almighty oh, Father, you are going to deliver them. King of King, you are going to deliver them. Almighty oh, Father, I pray by the power and the blood, Lord Jesus Christ. You are going to deliver everyone of them from the emotion. Almighty oh, Father, I pray by the power and you are going to deliver them in the name of Jesus Christ. But I pray for everybody that is going in that way. Oh, mighty oh. Father. 
that the okay. wife or the husband. Oh my dear Father, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, you will not disturb their house in the name of Jesus we will not destroy their house in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, my dear Father, you will uphold their house in the name of Jesus Christ. In any time, in area, by the name of them, and that's the rejoice of enjoying their managing their marriage. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, all the third party, all the symbol that have been destroying marriages from all our leaders to the member of the church, to the friend, to the family. Remember, we know, Father, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we are going to uphold all the, all, the, all the problem in the name of Jesus Christ, and the glory will belong go to your son, Almighty oh, God. Amen. 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 Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 We are going to pray right now. Uh, there's no amount of prayer you can pray for the children. That will be too much. We want to pray for them. God will shield our family, our children in particular, from the decadence of the world. There are some children now, the devil, in fact, the level of corruption and evil today is terrific. I work with young people. Of course, I still work with adults too, as a pastor, as a leader. But then I, my goal and my, my, the nature of my work and all that is how I relate with the young people. And as they discuss with me and all that, you know that there is so much decadence in the world. There is so much corruption and evil. The level of immorality has so much deteriorated that you, it is so alarming, so mm. alarming, that except by divine mercy, grace, and all that, shielding your own children, you will be shocked that children that were brought up in the way of the law, getting to teenage age, getting to a particular age, they are just becoming so influenced. Who want to pray? Our children will be shielded from the decadence of the world. Our <laughs> children will be shielded. Our <laughs> children will be shielded. Oh, God, shield my children. Our children, in the name of Jesus Christ. King God, can you we bail our children out in the name of Jesus Christ? Oh, my dear Father, pay by the power and the blood. We bail our children out in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, the efficacy. Oh, my dear Father of the world. For oh, all what is going in the world. King God, King Lord, 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 pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. We will bail our children out in the name of Jesus Christ. King God, can you bail our children out in the name of Jesus Christ? We are oh, Oh, amen, amen, amen. Before I close, as I close now in the next two minutes, uh, you, as you read the situation of election in Nigeria, you will hear many of the young people, and uh, some of them, they will be talking as if uh, they understand the meaning of war. Uh, <laughs> many of not even no civil war, uh, how it was, where I'm science, but uh, well, I live from the little story we have had and all of that. And then, and uh, the history, a lot of people have read. If, no, I'm not even going to history, even the community I'm staying, uh, the area I am, even though I'm not in the heart of where the real begin used to take place, but if people are living there, common riot like this. You are, you know that is uh, is something that we are talking of war. If we know people who have experienced war, will not even want to ask for it the second time, because even during war, you don't know who is father or mother, you don't know who is who. It's operation life ahead on your own, and you run for your own very dear life. And but you hear the drum of war, people are just uh doing, uh, you know. Are doing and all of that in Nigeria now because of election, this one, that one. And uh, look at Twitter, what is going there. Look at all of the things they are doing. And uh, if what take place, these people are not Christian. If they die, they go to hell straight. Maybe they don't even understand that they die. God will not say because you are fighting for the economy of Nigeria. God is not sentimental and carried away by emotionalism. The person will go to hell and burn forever and ever. So want to pray, lastly, as I hand over to Pastor uh, Peter, 
now and to Pastor Matthew that the God of heaven will cause peace to reign in Nigeria. Everything will go smoothly. Mm -hmm. We don't want death. We don't want un unnecessary death. People just dying, going to hell, living for eternity on prepare, and the devil is just causing death, causing what? No, it will not be. Let there be peace. Let there be tranquility. We Imagine. are made for peace. There are people yes. of peace. Come to Pastor Peter. Praise the Lord. Okay. Hallelujah. I saw him on the line, although he told him he's travel to Enugu, but I'm saying his name on the line. Um, on that page, we continue to call upon the name of, upon the name of the Lord. The Bible let me know, prayer is the key. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, especially for this platform, people will show more interest in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. You know, when devil want to attack one person or the other, the first thing he will seize from that person is to be seeking the face of the Lord, is to be seeking Almighty God. Let's call upon the name of the Lord, that by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, this platform will continue to increase in the name of Jesus Christ. The purpose of creating it is for more prayer, deep prayer, because we call it the gathering of the ego. When we started it, what we thought is that the Thursday is already common. We look at it, that Saturday is already common. Then we want the ego to, to, to gather together so that they can able to pray, to back up the Thursday prayer, to back up the to back up the uh, Saturday prayer. But now we can see the number, our leaders, this that they are becoming uh do not care more about it. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord that by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, God will help us. The prayer platform will be enlarged again in the name of Jesus Christ. By the power in the blood of Jesus Almighty Father, we enlarge the prayer platform again in the name of Jesus Christ. Things that have never seen. Thing that have never been done. As we are leaning down, as we are calling upon the name of the Lord, God is going to be revealing and solve the problem for us in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. What is the way of worship? The way of worship is evangelism. What is the way of evangelism? The way of evangelism is to call the leaders together to come in agreement that Almighty Father will close the war in Nigeria. The Almighty Father will close the poverty in the life of individuals. The Almighty Father will co close the embarrassment in the family of each individual. But when we do not gather, how are we going to pray? Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ I and you on this platform and on this platform we will stand on the gap. 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 Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, yes, as we are going to meet in the evening on a serial life. Or the, 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 the fine intervention that by the power that we will not find you missing. We will not find me missing. We will call other people. We will remind them that this is what happened this afternoon. This is what would have, have happened. And we are feeling disappointed. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, the, this platform will rise up to expectation in the name of Jesus Christ. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, Almighty God will help us to rise up to our tradition in the name of Jesus Christ. We will not find the leader wanting. We will not find the leader wanting. They will use their time. They will use their talent. They will use everything God has given to them. They will use their, their wealth for the growing of this platform in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us remember, Pastor Ali, that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, as far as the pyramid is important, this one too will be important to him in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us remember, Pastor Shegun, we do not know why it's not uh, it's not on the line. It's very, very unusual. Let's call upon the name of the Lord, that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, devil will not bring an entrance before them to be attending the prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Yes, but Mr. Peter, I've, I've, I've traveled. But I've seen many people that travel because they want to discuss with people. They will say, let me park. Then they will park somewhere. And then they will, be, they will, be, they will start the dialogue.